guys welcome back this is your boy again i'm slink are you guys doing welcome to another video uh please try as much as possible guys as usual to support your boy like this video comment share it on the platform follow me on instagram twitter facebook adam slink and make sure you subscribe and click the bell notification to get updates anytime any day i upload meanwhile guys uh firstly let's talk about rihanna she is officially a billionaire not in naira in us dollar rihanna i think she's 33 years old or 32 years old she's officially a billionaire 1.7 million dollar estimated according to forbes you know forbes magazine is one of the magazine that we the world have uh wholeheartedly accepted as uh, as a magazine as the magazine that can tell you the true fact of people who are rich and according to forbes they said when rihanna launched Fetty Beauty in 2017, she sought to create a cosmetic company that made women women everywhere feel included. A PS, the beauty line has helped her enter one of the world's most exclusive rank billionaires. Rihanna is now worth 1.7 billion Forbes estimated, making her the richest female musician in the world and the second only to Oprah as the richest female entertainer. And all those monies didn't come from her music career. She spent a whole lot of more than 10 years making music. But she started her business, her businesses, as at 2017. 2017, 18, 19, 20, 21. In five years, this girl was already a billionaire in business. So... Uh, uh, let me just, uh, this one is coming from uh, P Square, Peter Koye, Mr. P. He's, she, he said, Share you not this CM, my fellow musician, make you not shine you not eyes. Because he's telling his fellow musicians to shine their eyes because he knows fully where business is the best. If you make money in music, try to invest in other things. Try to invest in other things. Rihanna did music for years. The top chart, one of the most, uh, one of those musicians who topped the chart the most. And she only had close to 400 million US dollar. After a life, more, more than 10 years, her music journey only had uh, close to 400 million US dollar. Meanwhile, she started business in five years. She was already a billionaire. So guys, shine in our eyes. I see all those Nigerian musicians who are balling, just making music, just making music. Everybody they fade. There's nobody that won't fade musically. But your business won't fade. Your businesses, the things that you put on ground won't fade. Endorsement will fail. All those people have the most lucrative endorsement. But did they rely on endorsement? No. They decided to create their own brand. And she is not giving other artists endorsement. So you see how the table turns. So you design endorsement, they make music, they eat money now. For me, big boy. At the end of the day, guy, be wise. And also, guys, uh, let's still talk about another Hollywood entertainer, and that is that is a uh, Quavo. He recently he recently revealed that his personal assistant assistance he said 5k a day my personal assistance a millionaire this guy pays his personal assistance 5k us dollar so maybe five five thousand naira 5k us dollar a day so in our month this guy is henny 150k us dollars how quavo please can i be your personal cleaner at least i know i'll be guaranteed 1k a day 5k a day personal uh personal assistance which which a banker uh ceo let me see the ceo which bank manager which politician can boast of 150 US dollars a day, uh, a month. That is if Quavo is actually saying the truth though. But I, won't, I don't think he's, 
he's going to lie about that. 150k a month. Not even talking about the flexing, the drinks, the free clothes. What 5k a day, guys? Well, Quavo, <laughs> I hope you still will be able to continue paying that 5k a day for years to come because that is way too much. And the meanwhile, Rihanna is out there hustling. And so many other women out there are busy making money, opening businesses. Here is our own Nigeria actress. It's not see if I am accusing her. According to this lover, they said Inuedo is dating a politician and a king. According to uh, this lover. They say Nollywood actress Inuedo has reacted to the claims that she is sleeping with a Nigeria politician who is currently Minister of Niger Delta, Goswil Akpabio, and also Oba Iligushi. According to the controversial blogger, Gis Lover, the actress is in a relationship with these two men, despite these two men being married. It was also alleged that Ini might soon become the third wife of Oba. Reacting to this wise rumor, Edo has addressed them as falsehood and a means to damage a image. So Gis Lover was the one they broke this news saying that Inedo is having an affair with minister of Niger with the minister of Nigeria and also a king usually called Oba. And meanwhile this is uh what Ino Edo wrote because for Ino Edo to publicly address this issue do you know that yeah she's either she's not really happy about it or she's trying as much as possible to wash her name off such rumor. She said, it's hard to understand or comprehend or accept the nasty as such, as such cold-blooded beings. People who drive pleasure in throwing labors at people without getting their fat right, accusing people falsely in an attempt at destroying that person's life. I have had to deal with this calibers of people from the minute I got into li limelight and I've learned to live with it. But the truth is you may be destroying the lives of other people in an attempt to destroy mine. You choose to ignore the hustle and focus on things wholly you imagine in your head and you sell it to gullible people like you to buy this is not a war you want you want with me trust me so in a way though is categorically stating she's not involved yes that's definitely what she means and she's not involved with the minister nor is she involved with oba so guys and they are both married though you know so uh can you leave a comment below guys do you believe what Inuedo is saying well i wouldn't want to say much about this because i don't want to point fingers at all i am not the one that uh is insinuating that Inuedo is dating that is coming from this lover this lover but uh let's see keep our finger crossed though and uh, maybe the truth might reveal itself because according to this lover Inuwe Do may be the third wife of Oba, the Oba the king. Well, I do not know him that well, though. I don't know him that well. And uh, meanwhile, guys, uh, Whiskey shared. You know, Whiskey is about to hold a concert O2, at O2 Arena in London. And meanwhile, some of the tickets are already sold out. Crazy. And someone uh, said, sent Whiskey this message. She said, I will suck your cucumber for two tickets. I will get posted it. Come on, man. Come on, man. But whiskey should have covered her face now because people can still zoom in and see this lady who wrote that kind of thing to whiskey. And I check out a lady who used a capita to buy 
250k here and she said it was an investment this lady said female obsession with air is one thing i can't understand a friend of mine sent his babe 300k because he had been hearing her complaining about how she wants to start a brand but she needed money guess what she used 250k out of the money to buy hair hair <laughs> when she was confronted she went about saying things like hair is an investment how many zero percent increase are you getting from it please i'm so confused and concerned and this guy is hacking no, this guy is a guy that actually wrote it. A girl is complaining about wanting a capital to start a business. Her boyfriend sent her to run Drake. And guess what this girl did? She went out to buy 250k hair. And when she was confronted, she said hair is an investment. So, ladies, I, I don't want to talk too much concerning stuff that I do not know about. Please, how is hair an investment? How is hair an investment for crying out loud? Please, I want you to kindly leave your comment below. And uh, let's talk about baby Nigel Ozo. So this guy recently celebrated his 28 years birthday. And guess what? She, he, sorry, I said she, he got a house from fans again. A day for yesterday was uh, was Prince who got 10 million naira in cash from fans. Well, while we were complaining about it, someone wrote me, someone left a comment yesterday, and the person said, "The way this fan things works is is uh, is uh, maybe we 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 see any baby ninja uh, person receiving a." Uh, in fact, let me uh, search it from my phone. I think I'm going to read it. I think that way uh, be better because we better explain exactly what I'm about to say. So does he said, let me educate you about getting money or cars from fans. BB Ninja has an account. That's all what you fans who voted for you goes into. That means uh, he did write that well. It means that any money. And all those voting you guys are doing then, they say vote for your favorite person, vote for this, vote for that. That voting money is going to an account with a baby in Ninja. So after the end of this show, or the person stays in, is in the house, they give you what your percentage is on that which your fans voted for. I would like to talk more, but... They will know where this information comes from. If I say more, but that's how it works. So according to him, he said, when you vote, uh, maybe there's putting they are putting someone on the on uh what is it called on nomination or on eviction. If you vote as fans, that money is going to an account with baby ninja. So after the entire show, when you go home, the the baby Niger house meet, they there is a sharing formula. So the entire money, the entire money your fans use in voting for you will be shared among that that particular housemate and baby Niger. So that money, sometimes when you see celebrating, that that is when they will come present it as fans donate. That's exactly what. He said, well, we can't uh, ascertain if that is true or not, but that's the, so that the explanation the person gave. So please kindly leave your comment below and tell me if you believe what he said or not. And well, to end this video, guys, uh, this one is coming from interior designer Dapo, who recently lamented about the condition of a police cell in Lagos. He said... It's not officially a crime to take fresh air outside your apartment. Honestly, I and my friend Agutam are just outside while police took the light. While PSCN took the light. The next thing we saw was men on all blacks with guns. 
Next is this Uri Igum cell. Meet people here already filled up. This is what everybody here finds themselves in. Just reading to raid money from innocent Nigeria citizens. Lock them up in a cell not even conducive for animals. Despite all the various pandemic outside, please Nigerians help us out. This is where police is locking innocent Nigeria like me. Here in, in stinking smelling. I couldn't even breathe properly. Right now my health is even in danger. As we defecate, urine, urine, urinate, sleep, eat in the same spot for doing nothing. Chai! Chai! I saw the pictures and I almost like, I feel, I, I was so irritated. Please now, Abba now. You guys should do something now. And if they tell you how much they are collecting every month to maintain this particular place, eh, you will shout. Honestly. It's disheartening. Well, what do, do we expect from Nigerians? We don't even like ourselves. We, 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 we can't even assist ourselves. Talk more of even caring for prisoners. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching. So, boy, again, I'm going to see you in my next video. Don't go anywhere. Bye.